Hey guys, it's your girl Raven and I'm back with another video. Yes sir. Feels so good to be back, back in business. We on that summer grind. Let's go. So um I hope you guys are rocking with the headband. Okay. This is gonna be a professional video. Like what do you mean? No, it's not why am I joking myself? <laughs> Literally none of my videos are professional, but I've actually made a Google Doc, so I'm gonna try to make this as professional as possible. Okay, so I actually enjoyed watching these videos as I was in like grade 11 and like beginning of grade 12, like applying to like universities and stuff. Cause like, honestly, I had no idea which university to go to, like no idea. I had no program what I like really wanted to apply to or go into like literally okay well i knew i like science and things like that but i didn't know there was so many different programs you can do and so many different like pathways you can take and like i just i had no clue so i enjoyed watching one of these videos because it helped me decide actually no it didn't really help me decide on anything but it was just fun to watch it kind of helped me decide on what university you go to but not really at the same time but yeah so shout outs to this girl because I liked watching your video and inspired me to make my own, so. Okay, guys, so. Around December-ish, I want to say around December-ish, that's when I had applied to five different universities in Canada. And um, these five universities that I applied to, I mostly applied to them because I thought that they'd be the best university for me to go to based on like science, the ranking in science and things like that. But there are a few pros and cons for each university that helped me make my decision as well as the admissions. So let's get into that. Okay, so the five different universities I applied to was U of T, Queens, Guelph University, McMaster, and U Ottawa. So I applied to those five universities and the programs I applied to at each university is U of T Life Sciences, but Psychology. I applied to Queens Life Sciences? Hold on guys, I need to double check that. I can't remember if it was Life Sciences or Biochemistry. And basically the way I decided on my pathway to go into life sciences was basically I had um, attended an open house at my school where all the universities sort of like in Ontario came in. They set up a little booth and then I went to different universities and I was sort of speaking to them, giving my concerns. And I'm just like, hey, like I genuinely have no idea what the hell I want to do next year, but I enjoy chemistry, biology, uh, math, sometimes, sometimes math, but I enjoy chemistry and biology. And hey, maybe I want to, I don't know, like go into dentistry or become a doctor. Who knows? Whatever it may be. And they said that you should do life sciences because first year is pretty general. You study chemistry, biology, blah, blah, blah. And it counts as a bachelor's of science. So you can do, you can get into dentistry school with a bachelor's of science and you can go into med school. I'm pretty sure you can go into med school with any degree though. That's what I've recently found out, but I don't understand how you could, why you would want to go into med school with the arts degree and how that would correlate. Like what? And how, like, aren't you going to be so behind like the science students? I don't understand how that works, but it's possible. That's what I've heard so far. So yeah, I just, I really wanted to study life sciences. And then there was also engineering. Because I was sort of just thinking, like, life science is a type of program where you have to be studying for at least more than four years. Whereas engineering, because, like, you can't just do much, you, you can't do much with a life sciences degree, you know what I mean? Like, it's four years of study, but then what's your end goal? Unless you're going to do dentistry or become a doctor, you know what I mean? So, it's just, like, it's kind of risky, but, like, I still have time to figure myself out and what I really want to do. Okay, gosh, why am I spoiling everything? Okay, so Queen's... I was given the opportunity to study life sciences and chemistry with honors, Bachelor of Science of Honors, that's what it says right there. I highlighted it, I might include it in the video, I might not, we'll see. And basically, I'll weigh out the pros and cons of each school next. Okay, so I said U of T, I did Queen, so at Guelph I was offered, I'm pretty sure it was biological engineering, 
and I also got a scholarship for 2K. At McMaster, I was offered to do life sciences. At U Ottawa, I was offered to do, oh, at McMaster, I was offered life sciences and engineering, chemical engineering. So you guys can see I applied to chemical engineering at McMaster, and I also applied to engineering at Guelph. And then at U Ottawa, I also applied to engineering. I applied to, was it chemical? Yeah, I applied to chemical engineering at U Ottawa. Now, I'm now going to say the number, the admissions I got and the order I got. So basically, I'm very blessed to say that I got into all my programs that I have applied to. I got into each single university, which I consider the top universities in Ontario. I only applied to the ones that I considered the top universities in Ontario. And I'm not here to boast or anything. I'm just sharing my success or acceptance with you guys as I'm very proud to say this and I'm very thankful and I worked very hard you guys can see throughout my YouTube videos I hadn't posted it in like months and when I did post I was always like stressed out because you guys know I had so much work to do all the damn time so that's why I was just working so hard to getting into my universities and then I did and I, would, I just sort of slacked off in May and I almost lost my admissions but anyways back on this so uh yeah i was pretty happy with that i got into all of them now i want to say the order i got them in so the first admission i got was u ottawa and i got that like i don't know like two weeks after i applied and i was like what i'm admitted i haven't even got my midterms yet and i'm admitted like what i applied in like december so there's that Okay, so I got U Ottawa, and then after that I got into, I think it was Guelph, and then Queens, and then McMaster, and then U of T. U of T was the last one to admit me, and it was pretty close. I Guys, I didn't think I was going to get into Queens, U of T, or McMaster, because they all admitted me in, like, May, and I was getting super stressed, because the deadline to accept offers was June 1st, and here's me saying, oh, crap, I'm going to have to go to... I don't know, like U Ottawa or Guelph, when really um, some of my top choices were either U of T, Queens, or McMaster. So it was really tough, and it was really, it was really stressful. I worked so hard not to like let my average slide because I just. Your second term, midterm, is so important because the universities are not getting your finals till after. Your finals only count for your conditional offer, and usually the grade average is much lower once you get your offer like the grade average you have to maintain so really you need to focus on your first term finals and your t second term midterms because those are what are more important and that's what i did too i made sure that my midterms were amazing and then my finals whatever i just had to maintain the average which was an 85 um okay anyways this is a lot of coffee decision was not easy honestly i rambled about it on and on for like days i went back and forth with my mom with my guidance counselor i honestly had no idea what to do i was super stressed out i just i genuinely didn't know what to do guys like i i didn't know but hey we did end up coming to a decision okay so honestly i'm gonna get down to the nitty-gritty here i'm already at 11 minutes just talking um uh, my okay one second guys sorry about that guys oh, okay back to my rant yeah so out of five um i'm just gonna i was saying my top three so yeah so out of the five my top three universities were U of T, queens and mcmaster as i had said and basically i had kicked out uwano and guelph because i know honestly i don't know i was kind of going to choose guelph at the same time but it wasn't ranked as high as McMaster, Queens, or U of T. And I really wanted to go to, like, <laughs> my mom's yelling. Okay, so, um, I just really wanted to go to, like, one of the top universities. Like, one to four in Canada. So, I kicked out Guelph and U Auto, basically. And I know that sounds super petty, but, like, I also just... U Ottawa was a bit too far for me, I can't lie. Like, if I have to come back home, it's like a four-hour bus ride, or train ride, sorry. And I just didn't really want to make that commute every day, if you know what I mean. Like, not every day, sorry, um, because obviously I'd be living on res, but like, I don't know, like on the weekends, it would be like expensive to come home, or like, 
for holidays and things like that. So I didn't really want to do that anymore. So I kicked that one out. And next I kicked out Guelph because basically... Why didn't I kick out Guelph, honestly? I could have went to Guelph, honestly. I just wasn't feeling it as much as I was to other schools. Um, I had visited the UFC campus, McMaster campus, and they were both, like, gorgeous. So I was really just looking forward to going to one of those schools. And honestly, the scholarship didn't mean much to me because it was only $2,000. And it's like, you know. If, it, if they would have offered me like $10,000, then like, come on. Obviously, I'm going to Guelph. But like, it, it just wasn't as worth it for me as my schools, like my number one choices. Okay, now we're down to three schools. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I was going to do pa, 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 pa. Pa, pa, pa. That's four. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> uh, and I said I was going to be professional. Um, yeah, so. Excuse me. Uh, Queens. Did not go there. I'm sorry. I just let you guys know I didn't go to Queens. Again, it was just super far. Like, when I was applying there, I didn't really think about the distance because I always wanted to live on residence. Like, whenever I think of going to university, I think of moving out of your mom's house, packing your bags, and, you know, living on residence and having that first year experience. So, I always wanted to live on res. So, it wasn't really that big of a deal. It's just when I have to come home, I didn't want to pay, like, I didn't want to, not even necessarily pay. I just, I didn't really want to be on a train ride for so long. You know what I, you know what I mean? So, I just, I didn't really care to do it. Also, it's just Queens. It's a super party school. Don't get me wrong. I love to party and I did take that into consideration when I'm talking. Sorry, mom. When I was choosing my uni. Sorry, mom. But like, they party a little too much for me. I don't think I'd be able to handle it. Although I'd probably just be going to my classes. What do you mean? Like, I don't even party. <laughs> I'm trying to do that one face that Rue did. She was like, he looked at the camera. She was like... Or something like that. I don't remember how to do it. I was trying to do that. So now we are down to my top two universities. U of T and McMaster. Comment down below right now. I want to see what you guys think. Which university did I decide? Hopefully you didn't watch my other university announcement video, but this is a more formal one. I just really wanted to make one of these videos. So this is a more formal video. So comment down below, please, right now, what you think. Which university you think I went to <laughs> before I spoil it right now. But I'm just going to weigh out the pros and cons real quick of each university. In close to home, I guess. So, honestly, I wouldn't have to spend money on residence, even though I said that was my, like, one of my ideal things in, uh, university. So, pros, it was close to home. I could have still stayed on residence. It was just, you know, down the street. All I have to do is take the subway back up and I'm home. So, that was pretty good. McMaster University, also not that far. Not, well, I mean, I don't think that's a pro, though. For McMaster, one of the pros was that... I mean, it wasn't that far. Not that far from home. Home. Beautiful campus. That was also a pro. I just really wanted to go somewhere which was appealing to the eye. McMaster had a beautiful campus too. Cons. So McMaster is kind of small. I really wanted to go to a bigger place, but it's nice. Small and cozy is cool cute um university of toronto cons i would have to say mm, it's a commuter school definitely so basically if you don't know what that means it means that people just sort of go to U of T to do their work and then they they bus back home there's no partying there's no sort of like well that's what i heard and I feel like it is true because it's right in the heart of the city. So, like, you know. People just go there, do they do their work, and then they go about their business. And I did not like that at all. I feel like they have no sense of community. Um, a pro for McMaster would have to be that it was... Um, 
very social and uh, how do I say it? Social. I'm oh, just gonna put social. Likes to party. Party school. Somewhat party school. Perfect. Um, UFT ranks number one. So that would look really good on your resume. Number one in Canada. Ranked number four in Canada. Uh, so a con of McMaster. I'm trying to think of another con. I can't really think of any. I can't really think of any. I mean, hmm. people might be stingy with their notes at U of T. I hear that University of Toronto is also University of Tears, so I didn't like that. But I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I can't really think of any more cons, so yeah. Okay, and with my pros and cons being made. And everything I've talked throughout this video, taking all that into account, drum roll please. I chose to go to McMaster University. Yeah! Da I wish I could include cool sound effects, but I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll see how this video turns out. But yeah, guys, I decided to go to McMaster University. I'll be living on residence first year. If you're also living on residence, hit me up. Because I'm going to McMaster University. Roll rotters. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. <laughs> but yeah, no, in all seriousness, I will be going to Mac uh, this upcoming fall. I'm super excited. You know, hit me up on campus if you see me. Might include you in one of my vids. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, um, it was a really tough decision to make. I sat down quite a lot. I, honestly, I already knew I was going to make master. I just needed to get admitted. Like, it was my first choice, guys. I just totally fell in love with the guy at the open house who was kind of telling me, like, about McMaster and, like, uh, they teach you to become a doctor, you know, things like that. And, like, it's a great, great school. They have nice people. And then I visited campus, it was pretty, I met some of the people there, and they were super friendly and outgoing, and it's just like, you know, that's the type of school I want to go to, that's the type of community I want to have, and I'm so excited to just sort of move out of Toronto, you know what I mean, guys? Like, I'm kind of sick of the city, and I needed some change, it's not that far, so I can always come back, so it was honestly the best fit for me. And yeah, you guys just have to go with the best fit for you, and that's what I did, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is sort of how I came to my decisions on what I wanted to do and what I wanted to study. I'll be studying life sciences. And um, honestly, that might change. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I still have a lot of time to figure things out. So, yeah. Love you guys all so, so, so much. It's been your girl Raven. Peace and love. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Please don't look in my room. Because it's super messy. But, yeah. Bye guys, love you guys, peace and love, bye.